Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Skeleta and making her into a Sugar Skull face paint in Day of the Dead doll. In this video I'll be showing how I went through the full face paint of the Sugar Skull look, as well as some detail on the costume and the body blushing, uh, some additional body blushing touches. So after a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, I'm going in on the eyes and I do almost a full face up before I go in with the detail on the, the Sugar Skull look. I've done a few other Sugar Skull look uh, Day of the Dead dolls and this will be um, probably like my fourth or fifth at least. and. Uh, being that it was the end of October when I was working on her, I thought I would do another one. So I really went outside the shape of the Skeleta lip. I've done so many Skeletas that I like to just try different things. So being that this wasn't a commission, I thought I would just go for it, do something different. So I made her have sort of a fuller lip with a sort of a bee stung look, just a big round lip. <laughs> so like I said, I almost did a full face up before I went in with the design. I just didn't add the eye color and pupil and, and detail there yet. So her hair is a very soft blue, 100% alpaca. And I gave her a side ponytail. It's been a while since I've done that style, that side ponytail style, so I did it on this one. For the design around her eye, I'm doing sort of an ombre look with blending a blue and teal. And I used some Derwent metallic pencils. I just love these metallic pencils. They're really good at brightening up the eye, the, the color, making it pop, and giving it a bit of shimmer. The link to that is in my description box below along with the products that I use. There's affiliate links so if you purchase anything from by clicking on my links below then you uh, a portion of that we will get a small commission. So the support there is greatly appreciated. So like I said all of the supplies that I use uh, are in the description box below along with those affiliate links. You don't even have to purchase what the link is for us to benefit a bit from that. It's very small, but it's helpful. So darkening up that black around the eye, and like I said, there's that ombre effect with the green, uh, sort of a turquoise green on the bottom, blending up to a blue. And the dress that I did was a blue color, so I wanted to keep blue throughout the maintain like a blue general color throughout the face up. I'm doing little flower petals that are classic with the sugar skull look and I colored them in blue first and then I'm blending them out with white because I want them to keep, to keep that powder blue look to match the dress. Now I'm outlining those with Derwent watercolor black I find that the Derwent are creamier and brighter, but I'll use, if I want a very small fine point, I'll use the Faber-Castell Aqua Grip because it keeps a strong fine point. It just doesn't, if you want to make those colors really pop and be bright, you need to use the, a softer pencil. using a Prismacolor Scholar pencil sharpener. And then this is a Derwent uh, pencil extender. So I'm using my pencils all the way down to the very tiniest bit. And that pencil extender really helps. And that's a Faber-Castell eraser. It's a sharpenable eraser with a brush on the end. 
The brush that I'm using here is just a very small round craft brush and I cut it down to make it into more of a tiny stencil brush and it's really good for shading small areas. And this is just a regular flat brush. I tend to use brushes that are good for either watercolor or acrylic. More design work on the mouth. One thing I didn't do was go in on the nose and do the the uh, the black markings on the nose. So for most of the Sugar Skull or Day of the Dead look, you would go back in on the nose with some black, and it's hard to explain, but it's sort of like a black triangle on the tip of the nose. And I didn't do that with this one. I intended to, but I ended up not doing it. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I go back and do that detail work on the nose for the, to, because to me it's almost like not quite what I wanted it to be without that. And so I keep second guessing myself thinking I need to go back and do it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, this doll is still available in the Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below. And so hopefully, if you guys think I need to change that, hopefully she doesn't sell before I do it. <laughs> so I did the spider web look on the forehead. I love that detail on sugar skulls with the spider web. So I went and did that and then I did another sort of ombre effect with the with white and blue. Some detail on the chin. And finally going in on the eyes. I think the whole time I'm working on the face up, I leave the eyes to last because the whole time I'm doing it, I'm kind of thinking of which how I want them to look. The character comes to life with the rest of the face, and then I, by the time I'm done with it, then I realize, I, I kind of decide, okay, this is how I want the eyes to look. It's hard to explain, but it's, it's because I just haven't made up my mind yet until I see the rest of the face, how I want them to look. Like, do I want them to be looking to the side or up or what direction? So I always leave that to last. So I decided that I wanted to wanted it to be a side view with a very light blue eye, darker around the edges, and a sort of an orange uh, highlight under the pupil. Going in with the under eyelashes, still adding eyelashes. And she's just about done. So again, let me know if you guys think I need to go in and add that detail, the skull-like detail on the nose. and highlighting on the eyes and adding a little bit of blush underneath there. So then I'm going in with these Perfect Pearls and Pearl EX or Pearl X, I'm not sure how you say that, and just adding some highlights. I've already shaded the body, but I'm going back with some pearl just to give it some blue to match the overall color and some just some shimmer on the face. I think this was a perfect perfect doll to give the little shimmer to. I don't do it to all of them, but I really liked it on this one. And the camera doesn't seem to pick it up, but there, the what I'm doing on the body is a blue pearl X. I went in and gave her these blue eyelashes, which I just loved. And then here is the dress that I made with a little window so you could get the full effect of that skeleton. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Here are some photos we took in Louisiana with the doll. We did a little photo shoot there. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.